welcome to another tutorial with me. Um, my name is Crafty Jojo and um, this is Craft Cafe at Allendale Golf Course and I'm going to show you how I made this box. This has an oriental touch as you can see because um, I used the Eastern Beauty die set and I used mirror cardstock and a Moroccan themed um, designer paper. The one I'm going to make in this tutorial is uh, the same measurements but different designs so I'm not going to do an oriental one so this is what it looks like it's a napkin fold box this measures four by four and it's two inches high and it opens up like so and you have a beautiful box um, to put your gift in and it closes up and um, looks very spectacular so this is the box really nice and I'm going to show you how to make this what you will need is you will need four, uh, three pieces of cardstock. Um, you need one piece that is eight inch by eight inch for the box base. You need one piece that is eight by eight squared for the napkin fold part. And for the lid, you need a piece that is eight one sixteenths by eight one sixteenths squared. And um, as you can see, I've already added my designer paper. Uh, to save some time up, I'm going to give you the measurements for your designer papers as well. You will need, um, sorry, I have to read this out. You will need for the base of the box, which is this part, you will need four pieces that are three three quarters by one three quarters. So four of that size. And then the inside of the box is three seven eighths uh, squared. So that's um, the inside of your box. And as you can see, um, this is what you look at when you open the box, so that's why it's on the back side. And these are the outsides of the box, uh, so box base, so um, make sure you glue it down the right way. For your lid, you need one piece um, of designer paper that is 3 7 eighths squared. And then you need four bits that are 3 7 eighths by 3 quarters. So, and um, that's about it. And um, for this piece that is going to be um, decorated, you will need to cut two and a half inch squared. You need exactly four bits, which are all going to be cut diagonally and then are going to be glued on here. And you need eight pieces that are one five eighths um, squared, also going to be cut diagonally. But we're going to do this together later. So let me give you the scoring lines. First of all, you start with your box base. 8 by 8 and you score at 2 and 6 on both sides 2 and 6 and this is what it gives you a big square in the middle which is the bottom of your box the inside and this is the outside and your lid you are going to um, it is the 8 1 16 uh, square piece of cardstock you're going to score at 1 and 2 inch on every side so 1 and 2 inch 1 and 2 1 and 2 and 1 and 2 and this gives you this part and the last bit, which is for your napkin fold, is 8 by 8 inches. And you are going to score at 2 and at 6. And then you rotate it. And again, you score at 2 and at 6. And then you are going to mark, make a little notch at 4 inches, which is exactly the half of this length, because this is 8 by 8 inches. So you notch here, 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 and here at 4 inches. And then you use your metal ruler. To find the center of your cardstock which is when you lay it across you just make a little pencil mark like I did so that's why you use the notch marks to find the center and once you found your center you now have to do some manually folding or scoring and that is this end goes to the center and when you fold it it should exactly run through here and meet at the corners here and you do this on all four sides you fold this center in like so okay all four sides and the next bit you would do is then fold this up let me just get my where is my so first of all we need to um, do our score lines so the straight ones you burnish them and the next thing you have to do is you bring this in and then you put this back down on it, okay? And you try to square this up really well and give it a good pinch. And then you bring this end in and you square this up as well, as good as you can. Okay. 
and then you again you take this big part the big triangle inwards and you fold this one inwards as well and bring it in and you do this on all four sides and reinforce your score lines and the last one this is what you get through this and here I haven't scored really precisely so I'm going to get back to you just in a minute all right, I'm back. I quickly redid this um, with a more precise fold. Sorry for that, but uh, it's really important. Um, so after all this folding, this is what you have after you folded um, the big triangles inwards. This is what you get. And the last bit you have to do is you fold this little thing here, this little corner back on itself like so, finishing the napkin fold. So here we go. like so make sure you burnish it really nicely so that it's a crisp fold i'm already already regretting having used white cardstock because it so easily catches a little stain here and there and then doesn't look as neat as you want it to be look this one I just, okay so this is your napkin fold that will sit on top and this needs to be decorated with um, your designer papers that you've cut here, but we are coming to this later. Um, so I'm just going to put this away. Now the next thing you need to do is you assemble your, two, your lid and your box. Just a second, please. So we need to um, get our scissors out. And for the lid, you are going to cut on this score line here, right next to your designer paper, all the way to the second score line. And you do that as well on this side all the way to there and then i'm going to slightly wedge this take off the excess flap wedge the flap and also wedge this because it's a reinforced box so for a better fit the wedging is necessary so we do this on the other side as well like so so i wedge this I take the axis off here, wedge this, I wedge this, and I wedge this. Now you turn it around, make sure you don't only turn it like so, you want to turn it so that it is the opposite side, and you do exactly the same again. You create the flap that helps you fold your box together, your lid. So we wedge this one, we take the axis off, wedge it, wedge it, wedge it. And we do this on this side as well. Here we go. So this is what you're going to do. And then I'm not happy how uh, the neatness of my work here. This is okay. Okay. Okay, so this is what you have from your lid and your box base needs similar cutting. So you cut on this score line and you just wedge this a bit, slightly only on both sides for a better fit. Take your time, oops, for a nice straight cut. And this is the box is not reinforced um, so you turn it to the opposite side the box is not reinforced but uh, once you glue the napkin fold parts to the inside of the box that will help reinforce the box as well and make it very sturdy you'll see when you make yours how this works so this is what we do this is what we've got and this is just a bit of a case for the bin here we go all right so next thing is burnish and fold your score lines 
and it comes in handy that you've already put your designer paper in because um, it's much easier to glue it on when the box is not assembled yet rather than putting it in when the box is assembled so I strongly recommend doing this so um, you just take your glue I like to use Tombow for this job and um, wait a minute what am I going to do like so okay so Tombow bring these up and then you want to make sure that you square your box up really nicely on both sides just going to rub this down really well spread the glue okay I'm happy with this side and I just do the same on the other side and this is my base for the box already done as you can see not much work it's actually quite a quick um, box it's not that difficult when you know and uh, once you know the way it's done you can amend the sizes to any size really I was surprised how many of you asked for a tutorial because the internet is full of tutorials for these so I don't even know who to credit for this because there's like at least 10 authors I found that made something similar so um, it's not my original idea of course but um, there's always somebody who will claim that it was theirs but it's not me so this is the box base finished and we're just quickly going to do this oh forgot that one this is the reinforced bit Now, as these two flaps are going to be glued in between here, we can already glue these two parts down without interrupting the process. So here we go. You glue them once down. Now the next part is a bit more tricky because you will need to glue these flaps in and then fold this over. So I usually do this in one go but I've seen people who first glue the flaps down and then later fold this over. I do it in one go like so but as before everybody to their own abilities and taste. So this is how I do it. And this. So a bit of glue here, push it in and burnish. So this is the lid, the base, very basic, no design, no embellishments on it yet or anything. This is just your box and your lid and because you made the lid 1 16th of an inch wider than the box base, it fits perfectly so this in itself is already a pretty box but we are now going to um, look at how we are going to um, put the napkin fold in so this is what we had I told you once you have um, done all your folding and scoring this is what you have this shape and you have cut your designer papers you need four bits that are two and a half inch squared four of those one two three four and you need eight that are one five eighth of an inch squared and I'm going to cut them in half and these are going to sit on the large triangles here
And now this is getting to the designing point because I have used double sided DSP, so I could actually, I might do that. Um, I'm going to decide as I'm cutting and gluing down, um, I'm just going to do this off camera for you to um, do your own as well. And um, I'll get back to you once I've glued this down and then show you what I've done. Come back so this is what i've got so far i've decided to glue this together like so because when my um napkin fold folds up this is what will be seen and um the bottom of my box is going to be the dark so this is going to be a nice contrast and um there's one little bit we still have to do and that is we have to cut diagonally through here so you will need a crafting knife and a ruler and then you just make sure that you cut from this corner right through the middle to that corner all right and then you do the same on the other side so you cut diagonally through this oops and don't worry if it hasn't cut all the way just a bit of bending will basically sort the problem out and if it's not like here I haven't done a very good job cutting now this has created the remaining four triangles and I've decided to glue them in like so as a color contrast to um, the bottom of my box. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to glue this down. Why am I going to do it the other way? At this point, oh, hmm. I think I'm going to do it this way. I'll just make the interior of the box all green. Don't know why, but now it's too late because I've decided to do it. So, well, it's totally down to your own taste, really. So you glue these triangles, your remaining four triangles down. I need to get this out here. And then it's time to glue the napkin fold into your box. And I'm going to show you how that is done. As much as I like Tombow for its gluing properties, it really gives you sticky fingers, which I do not like too much. So, after this, I have to go and wash my hands because I'm sticky. All right. So, you just rub this. Till it sticks okay and this is your napkin fold and this is your napkin fold box and this is oops haven't cut here haven't even noticed so it helps a lot to fold them back on themselves like so and I'm going to trim this little fringy part here because I don't like it okay no more fringes so this is how your napkin fold is going to be glued into your box as you can see and that's going to finish it off so how to do that is very simple you start with any one of your choice add some glue and you 
pop it into your box. And I'm arranging from outside here and you want to be slightly below your score line, still allowing you to fold it. Because if you're right on the line you won't be able to do that. So I'm going to next going to do this one, the opposite side. And again, as you can see, my score line is sitting slightly or right above the box. Okay, so this is what we've got so far. Now all that is left to do is you fold this up, pop some glue on it. it down and again a bit of glue just double check this sits nice and flush and the opposing side sits nice and flush too and then you rub it down and that's your very basic undecorated box done so to close it up all you need to do is you push these four bits to the center and it helps to push them inwards oops not that much though <laughs> It helps to um, push them inwards and also what has helped me was by really trying to burnish them as crisp as possible whilst already being assembled. But that will help. There you go. And that is your napkin fold box finished. Of course, this is subject to decoration now, uh, which I'm um, probably going to do off camera and just show you a picture of the finished box because otherwise this is just going to take too much time and uh, on top of it all, it's down to a personal taste anyway. But this is how you do a napkin fold box and how you glue the parts in and uh, it clicks kind of um, in and to open it up you just pull here and that's it so i hope you like this little tutorial and it has helped you create your own stunning box and um, as you can see same uh, way of doing it completely different look i mean this one is decorated this isn't but um, just with the choice of your paper you can give it a different character so um, you can make it a male theme or a female one and um, make it very girly or make it very basic or if you love like me i love loads of bling so i'm probably going to bling this up as well but i haven't decided yet what i'm going to do i'm probably going to use the stamp set um, that comes with this designer paper the same suite so um yeah that's it thanks for watching and um, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel the button is in the right corner there and thanks for watching and joining me today and hope to see you soon take care and bye Back and I just wanted to show you the finished box. This is what I chose to go for. I used the uh, uh, Rooted in Nature stamp set. Uh, so I used this stamp and from the second one I used this and these and these. And um, I also used the Thinking of You sentiment here. And um, this is what my box looks like. So really pretty and you can see there's something lurking at the bottom of the box and if you open it up you'll see the tree and i think this is a very pretty box and the project uh, is quite um, suitable for beginners as well so i hope you are going to give it a try and let me know what you think and how you got on in the comments and thanks for watching this please don't forget again to subscribe and thanks for watching bye